Welcome to how to digitize a book to PDF method two. In this method, I'm going to use the scanner feeder and which is one of the reasons why I bought one of these HP uh, scanners with a printer that you can feed in about 25 sheets at a time. Obviously, I will be doing the odd numbered sides first and then the even numbered size. So as you can see, I'm going to use the scanning first, then crop and whiten it, renumber the pages from odd and even, and then I'm going to put them together as a PDF and use the PDF exchange to recognize the text or OCR the text. Remember, all of this is free software. I'll just quickly show you the links to them. So my first one is the NAPS2, which is the Not Another PDF Scanner 2. All of this is shown in my first method tutorial. So you quickly just download this. I've already downloaded and installed it. In fact, I decided to download the portable version in case you don't have um, access to the rights of the computer. Next, we go to XN Convert, and here you can simply, here's the web page, simply download the 64 bit version or the 32, whichever you need. I've done that already. Then there's the renumbering of the pages. We do that with this software here called Ant Renamer. It can rename other things, not just pages of a book. And you would click on the direct download link. Once again, there is a portable version here, but I would prefer just to install it. Next, we have the Pixilion Image Converter. And you can see that here, you just click download. I've already installed it. Then finally, the PDF Exchange Editor. And here, once again, you can download this version. Notice how cheap it is. But I decided to download the portable version because you may not have access to the administration rights. Again, click the mirror with the OCR. That means you can optically recognize the text. And you just download this. I've already done this, so I'll click off there. OK, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to use this first Certificate Avenues book from 1996, so it's not really of use, much use now. But there are some articles and exercises in it that I like, particularly the pictures. And now I'm going to cut it up using a ruler and a stencil knife. And later, I'm going to glue it back together using simple glue. And, you know, if you ever borrowed a book from a library and you wanted to do it this way, you could, and they probably wouldn't be any the wiser. So now I'm going to get on with the cutting, and I'll pause once I've cut a few pages just to let you see how it all goes. Now you can see there's a bit of pull there, so I'm going to let it go through a few pages and I'm just going to cut it down. You can see there is margin. So make sure you have a rubber mat handy and a nice metal ruler. Don't go in too far, because remember, you have to go all the way down. Once you've gone a few pages down, you can actually peel them up. Oh, 
Okay, so that's all the pages done. These remaining pages, obviously I will scan them individually and add them later. And later I'll show you how I'm going to glue back into here the entire book. Now we can put in 25 pages at a time, which means it will be numbered 1 to 50, as I'm only doing one side at a time. Make sure before you put them in, you do kind of flick it in order to make sure the edges are not sticking together. So flick it like this. And now I'm going to show you with the first 25. And like the cutting, I'm going to pause and then we'll do that again with the rest of the book. Now the idea is that you do all the odd pages first and all the even pages later so that you can match them together later. Okay, just going to bring over my scanner and here you just simply flick back and insert the pages. So I've taken up to pages 49. That should be about 25 sides. Once again, I'm flicking it to make sure that they're not sticking together. I'm doing the odd numbers first. And we'll see how long it takes just to do that side. Now remember, when it's doing this, I can go away and watch TV or have a cup of tea because I don't really need to do anything. That's the great asset of having a sheet feeder. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the NAPS2 scanner, which is uniform for every printer. So it's much better than using your own scanner software. Now, if I press scan now, it might scan, it might not, but what I want to do is make a profile because I want to make sure it uses the feeder. I click new and I type in feeder. That's the name of this. The device. Now, if you haven't turned it on, you might only see this with net. I've got mine on Wi-Fi. I've turned it on and now I can see this, which is the one I want to use. I don't want to use the glass. I want to use the feeder. I want A4 as I'm not in America, and I want 300 DPI, which should be enough. Uh, advance, maximum quality, yeah, let's give it the best quality. And that's okay. So now I click done. Make sure you click done. And now when I pop down, you can see I have feeder. The last time in the first method we use the batch scan but for this we won't need to do this because we actually have a feeder and it will automatically just feed through so we can just go straight into print so let's do that now and there you can see the feed is taking it in quite quickly, to be honest. And I will pause as it does it one by one. Remember it's doing 25 and we'll put a little timer on that. Let's see. The time on the clock is 1849. So let's see how long it takes to do 25 sides. Okay, so we're nearly coming up to the end now. Nearly 25 scans has gone through. And we started at 49. And we'll probably finish at about 59. So that's been 10 minutes for 25 sides. 
I'm going to have to do that four times for the even. So that would amount to 40 minutes. And then I'm going to have to do it four times for the odd or the other way around. That's another 40 minutes. So I guess it would take about 80 minutes, an hour and a half. But the only thing I would have to do is feed in the sheets and click scan. I could be watching a film while I'm doing this. So that's the real good benefit of this. Okay, so that noise means it's finished and we can see the scans here. And let's see what the clarity is like. I'm just going to double click on that. And zoom in. That is quite nice. That is very nice. So I am going to add more onto this. I simply have to press the scan feeder and it will feed the rest. So let's do that. Remember to take these out and put them this way up because once it's finished, the even numbered pages are going to go in in a reverse order. Okay, so there's 99, so this is another 25. Once again, flick. Oops, make sure they're all. Neat and tidy. There's the sound at the feeder, and I'm going to press the feeder again. There's my feeder. And we're off again. So this is going to take 40 minutes. I'm going to pause until at least the one side is done, and then I'll show you a little bit of the beginning of the second side. Okay, so we've finalized the odd pages. All of them have been scanned. And now we're just going to save them into the odd pages folder. So before we do that, let's check the image settings. Get to the source pad, so it's desktop and odd pages. Let's put the letter O, and then we're going to save them as such. We'll put on a high resolution quality, and that's OK. And now I'll select all, or you can just simply control A, select all, or just say all. And then I'm going to save. And if we open it, you can see them all being saved. OK. You will note that they are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, when really they should be numbered odd numbers because we're going to join them together. But we'll do that later. So for now we're going to uh, clear this or we'll just close it, see what happens. Now we're going to open again. And this time we're going to scan the other side, the even numbers and You'll notice that we will be doing it in reverse order this time in order to do the even numbers. So we'll start with the highest number going to the lowest because that's how the pages are gathered. Let's 
So the edge is in. And now I'm going over to press scan. I can always just check the profile, make sure it is the same. So let's edit just to check it. Yes, we're using the feeder, A4, everything's fine, 300 dpi. That was me just checking, that's done. So we'll just click scan. And away we go. Now you know what happens, so I'm just going to let the scanner run. I'm going to pause here, and when we're finished, we will edit all the documents so that they can be put in one file. Okay, so now we have all the even numbers scanned, but in a reverse order. So I'm just going to check that the image settings are high quality. Leave them as JPEG and click OK. And all. And I'm going to save them in the even pages. And we'll call that E for even pages. And if I open that folder, you can see them all being created. When that's finished, we're just going to do the missing covers because there are a few pages that I didn't cut out cover the inner cover so I'll do that now and I'll save them in the covers folder so I've got odd even and covers so I'm going to close this out and open it again and this time I'm not going to use the sheet feeder so I need another profile new call it flatbed choose my device there it is on the left just check the properties yeah And it's the glass this time. It's a four three hundred, and everything else is fine. We'll check the advance, maximum quality. That'll do. Done. So this time when I go to scan, I have a choice, feeder or flatbed. And I have a F3 quick key if I wish to do that. So I'm going to do that now. Now, as I am going to scan at least about four or five pages, instead of just clicking on the flatbed, I am going to batch scan. And that way I can stand by the printer and it will give me five or ten seconds before the next one starts automatically. I don't have to keep constantly pressing this button here. So I've got feeder or flatbed. I'm going to go to flatbed and I'll say multi-scan and fix delay between scans. So uh, I don't know how many scans I've got. I should go check now. So there are six pages that I wish to scan. And the time between them, give myself 10 seconds to turn the pages. 
and then load them into this software. Okay, so let's do that now. There goes my first scan. Okay, so there are the pages scanned. Going to close that. Let's save these images as well. Check the image settings for them is good. Always do that because as you can see it did lower. So get it up to 100. Click OK. You can highlight the images thus. And I'm going to save them to the covers. We'll call that C. And the reason I'm not turning them over is that I can crop everything uh, the same if I leave them unturned for now. So, okay, so for now we've done our scan, import, JPEG. Let's do the next step crop and whiten. Okay, so now we're going to use XN convert. We could add files or we could just simply add the folder. Click here, odd pages folder, and there we all have them loaded in reverse order for some reason. Uh, let's get on something colorful. So we're going to do two actions clear all. Normally, my actions are just crop and make the image darker. So we're going to choose crop. I don't really need to crop this. It's been scanned really well. Although if we look at the number at the bottom, it does need cropping. So let me just check the odd pages. Yeah, you can see this bit here needs cropping. Uh, but the top and the sides don't. That's good, that's good. Because we did scan it A4 and the book is less than A4. So, so let's choose the crop. This is the before, this is the after. Make sure you have it on the after. And I'm going to crop from the bottom. And that's about right, about 300. So we're going to do that to all the pages. And we'll add an action just to make it darker. And we're looking for the levels. And it's best to get an, a picture with an image. So if I go back here, okay, so if we wish, we can just make it darker. And I always use the darkening button. You can see what I have in there. And if the page had an image behind it, like it wasn't pure white, we could make it pure white like that. But we don't actually need to. We'll just leave it as a more darkened image. And it means the text will be darker as well, which is nicer. So let's do that. Let's leave that there. And the next step is to go to the output folder. And this time we're going to use a folder within a folder. So let's choose our folder. And we'll go to our desktop, we'll go to our odd pages. And instead of putting them in there, I'll make a new folder like odd edit or odd xn convert maybe no edited edited so the odds have been edited we select that folder and there everything else can remain the same i don't think we need to do anything other than press convert
Let's go into our folder and see that happening. There you can see the odd edited folder being filled up there. And you can see the pages are cropped and darkened. Okay, and we can close that. Let's have a look at the image. There's page 17. You can see the image is much darker, the text is sharper, the colors are sharper, and it has also been cropped. Excellent. And we're going to do that also for the other folders. So we'll open XN Convert again, add a folder. This time we'll add the even pages. We'll go to actions. And it remembers our action, our 300 bottom crop, which is good. Let's just check that's good for all our images. Yeah, and you can see the page number at the bottom. That's good. And here's a page with an image. We'll make that a little darker. It remembers the darkness we used. So we'll leave that so that all the pages are uniform. But this time the output, we're going to choose even pages. Make a new folder. Even edit. And that folder has been selected and simply press convert. Close, open again, and this time we're going to choose the covers folder. And we're going to add the actions. Just click on the next page for it to show. Don't worry about it being upside down. We will change that in the last part of the edit. So let's go to the output folder. Once again, change that to covers a new folder, covers edited, select the folder and convert. And there's our covers converted. Wonderful. So that's part two done. Now, before we join up the pages together, in order that they are numerically in the correct order, we're going to use Ant Renamer to renumber the odd pages as odd pages and not one, two, three, four, but one, three, five, seven, and the even pages as even. 2468. So let's have a look at those pages now. And here are the odd edit. That's the ones we're looking at. And let's see if page one is page one. That's page one. So that's page nine. So then that's seven, five, three. So that should be page three. And in order to renumber them, 3, 5, start with 3, 5, we're going to use Ant Renamer, which is good. And you can use this for renaming MP3 files, anything you like. And we're simply going to add the folder that we want to add. 
leave all the settings as is. Make sure the file names are in the order you want to change them from one onwards. We'll highlight everything, go to the action, enumeration, and we're going to start at three. We're going to have three digits, zero, zero, 001, and increments by two. And simply press go. And now you can see the files have been renamed 3579. So we just want to check. We can go to page 43. And it says 43. Perfect. Now let's do the same to the even pages. I usually just close off and start again. And we've got the even pages. What are the numbers for the even pages? So, so we're going to start with page four. Page 95 would be page four. So let's drag it in. And this time, make sure you click on file name so that the first number to be started is the highest. The 95, there you are. That's the one we want to change to number four. So let's highlight them all. Action, enumeration, start at four, three digits, increments by two. Go. And now if we open that box, you can see the pages have been put in the correct order. We don't worry about the covers, we can add them later individually because they have different numbers obviously. So we close that out. So we've renumbered them and that helps for when we join them together. So let's use Pixilion Image Converter to join them together. Here we go. Before we add the images, I really want to make sure we have the pages numbered as they should be. And I want to make sure that the covers get put in order. Now, I want this page, this page, and this page to be in the top, which it will be. But I want these three to be at the bottom. And if I look at the last numbered page, I think it is 192. And this one is, yeah, so 192. So I want 193. So let's have that as 193. Just do these like that. That'll be 194. And that'll be 195. And I could change the others just to 01, see where they land. O2, because it's not three digit, it might go earlier. O3. Okay, let's see what happens there when we add them. So let's add all the files. Let's add the um, odd images first. Control A, open. Go back out, even JPEGs, control A, open. You can see they're in numerical order. And let's see what happens when I add the covers. Okay, so, ah, because it's not been called file. So it's obviously dropped there. It would be good if I could move these pages down somehow. No. So what I'm going to do is remove that one. Remove those ones. Make sure I give them the proper name. So we're going to call them file space 193 
and the covers. File space. Okay, let's see what happens if we add them. I'm just going to drag them in. And there they are at the bottom where they belong. And the top ones just stay at the top because they started with a number. That's good. And now make sure you highlight them all. Encoder settings, stretch, stretch to printable area. Make sure you have it on a full high quality, save and combine. And go to this combine area and give it a name. We're going to go to the desktop and call it odd even together. And save. And sit back and watch the file get created. Okay, let's open the file. And remember, we're going to put them the right way around later. And as you can see, it's looking really good. The pages, the left numbers on the left, the right's on the right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And the last page, I'll just check. Yep. So, all we need to do is make sure we diskew this page and we're going to OCR it. That will happen when we OCR it with our free software. So, we can close this out. So we've done our four steps. The final step is just the PDF exchange editor where we can turn the page upside down if it needs doing and we can OCR the text. Okay, so now I'm going to open PDF exchange editor, the portable version, which I unzipped. What I like about this is you can simply drag the PDFs in. Now, the first view is this modern ribbon view, which is nice, but I prefer the old view, classic, because look, you get the toolbars, all the toolbars. And the first thing we need to do before we OCR it is make sure, let's just make it one page so I can click through. All the pages are the right way round, apart from the first two and maybe let's have a look at the last ones yeah and, and this page is not the right way around so all you do is you go to document and rotate the page so current page we're going to rotate it 180 and there it is then we'll go to the Pages one and two, document, we'll take pages, uh, current page, we'll just say page one to two. One hundred and eighty. And there you have all the pages done. Let's save that. I do like the two page view, looks like a book, especially if you project it on the board. Now the final thing to do is OCR the text and when you OCR the text you can also have it uh, diskew, like this page is at a bit of an angle, it will diskew it. Uh, this book's funny because it has a lot of text that's different angles and you may find that one or two of the pages get diskewed and you don't want them diskewed. This one in particular might straighten this and then this becomes diskewed. But there are ways around that. We won't bother now. Most pages won't have this problem. Most modern books will put things in a straight order. So let's just OCR the text.
Now, for most things, you have to buy the version, but for OCRing, you don't. Like I said, it is cheap. It's only 35 euro. It's a brilliant piece of software. We're going to OCR all the pages. We'll leave the settings as they are. Detect skew page content, which is good. Uh, ignore existing text on page. Ignore comments on page. Uh, detect incorrect page rotation. That would have been interesting if I had left one of the pages upside down. But we're going to skew uh, editable text. Fix content skew incorrect page rotation. Create a new document. So maybe we will create a new document and that way we can, uh, if we do damage the page like it isn't, it has been diskewed and we didn't want it to, we can always um, go back and make sure we add to that to the pages we don't want to diskew. Now we don't want enhanced OCR, uh, we just want the normal OCR. No, use the free default OCR available. No demo stamps will be placed on the document. That's what we want. We don't want enhanced OCR, so we'll use that. Okay, so that's our book, finished the OCR of the text. Let's just check uh, a few pages. So now we can actually select the text, copy and paste to our wheel. We can highlight the text, which is the whole point of being able to do this. Uh, let's see if any of the pages have been changed for the worst. Now you can see there on the right, this page, it decided that this was the right way round and it skewed the other pages, which I didn't want it to do. And what you'd have to do, and this one as well, it decided this should be straight. What you'd have to do is go back, uh, collect those other pages, and just make sure you don't skew those pages. But it's been good because this one needed de-skewing. Um, most modern books won't do this strange format. There is a way to make sure that these pages don't skew. you just eliminate them from the process. So when you uh, go to the OCR page, make sure you decide these pages need it and just do those particular ones. Or you can simply say uh, fix content and don't skew. You know, you can untick that. And that way, uh, it won't skew the pages and the text will be legible, but some of the pages will be a little off as they were during the scanning. So that's all for now. The next two scannings we'll do is from a photocopier where we'll learn to split the page and from the online books where we will simply copy them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe and like the videos. See you on the next video.